Some people wonder how in the world they're supposed to make this formatting of the spreadsheet. What's it supposed to look like? Well, honestly, the most important part is for the information to be correct. But then, you know, you like it to be pretty. There's no one right way to do it. I'll show you something that m you might like. And, and you'll want to Im make the important data stand out. So let's go see one. Here I have a spreadsheet with some information already entered. The title is in A1 and the subtitle is in A2. I, I want them to be in the middle. So I don't click over here on cell C1 and do it. What I do instead is click and drag across all of the included columns. And then I can click Merge and Center. Do you see it right there? Merge and Center. And that will put it in the middle for me. Hmm, maybe I'd like some more style to it. I could do it by hand, you know, up here on the Home tab on the ribbon. Or I could choose a pre-made style. How about like that? That's nice. But maybe we'll add some color. So you can use both of those in conjunction. You can't do two rows at a time. You can only do two one row at a time. So we'll have to do row two separately. Notice how I'm putting my mouse in the middle, in the center, and I have the hollow cross. Very important. Oh, I lost it with my mouse. Here we go. And we'll do merge and center again. And this time, I don't know, let's make it bold and, yeah, I don't know. Should we make a background color? <laughs> they don't match, but that's okay. We're having fun. Uh, I could do the row three heading the same way, you know, with a pre-existing style. Wouldn't have to. You could do something else. And if I just hover my mouse over a certain style, I can see what it might look like. I, I like that. And, uh, you know, the total is down at the bottom. That's going to be really important. So how about if we select that row and I happen to know they have a total style. That's good. And, and it's already bold. There, see? So it should stand out nicely. These row headings happen to be already bolded. Maybe I'll undo that before you get the assignment. And we could, another thing we could do, well, let's do the important part first. We want to add some sums. Add them up. Find the total. If you click the cell where you want it to go, and then you go up to the Auto Sum button, you could just click it, but I want you to see this. You can click the drop down arrow and choose the one you want, which is Sum. That's step two. Step three is select the cells you want to include. I'm clicking drag, ing. Don't include this one. Don't do that. It doesn't go like that. It only goes to the other ones. You don't add the number in itself. And step four is press the Enter key. Now, you might want to look at that again. Step one, click where you want it to go. Step two, choose the formula you want to use, the function. Step three, select the cells. Step four, press the Enter key. It's good practice to do that. However, there's a faster way. If you look. When you click a cell, there's a small square in the bottom right-hand corner. And if you get your mouse on that square, that's called the fill handle, the mouse icon will change from a hollow cross to a crosshairs. If you have the crosshairs, then you can click and drag. Uh, I'll go all the way over to G. And it will take this same formula that was the sum of C4 to C7. Notice that you use the colon for C4 to C7. Okay, take the sum of that, and it moves the same formula over there, except it changed it to D, and the next one it changed it to E. Very convenient. Well, this poor guy is trying to add up column G, and there's nothing there. So let's do the same again. Step one, where do you want it to go? And we'll step two, choose the function to use. Step three, click and drag across the, the cells to include. Step four, press the Enter key. If I were to continue doing it the same way, and I'm, I'm doing this instead of filling down because I wanted to show you a problem so you won't make the mistake. You follow my rules. When I come to the third one, 
click where you want it to go, enter the sum function. Now look what it did. It's adding these two instead of these five. Right? The computer's not always right, most of the time, but not always. And so you should always click and drag or confirm the cells you want to include. Oh, I only have one more left. Let me just go ahead and fill down on that. I'm using the crosshairs. And there we have a nice little spreadsheet. Oh, one more thing here. Let's just do this. I can do select that row and then Listen to me carefully. Look down at your keyboard. Take your handy dandy left in index finger. Press down and hold the control key on your keyboard. Press down and hold the control key. You can't see me, but do you heard me maybe? And then collect the second row. So now I've selected cells that are not beside each other, non-adjacent cells. And I could go up and, uh, oh, how about, is that good? That's a 20% accent. And now I have rows that are banded. They're colored every other one. I did it by hand. There are some other ways to do things, but this is great for starters. And there you have a formatted spreadsheet.